Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual because I got a request to talk about mRNA vaccines and whether or not they can modify your DNA. Because I know that there's still a lot of people who have concerns about mRNA vaccines. And one of the biggest fears people have is that mRNA can modify their DNA. And I can tell you right now that this is not something that you need to worry about. Um, in fact, these mRNA vaccines are very, very safe. Um, but I do want to take some time to explain why this is the case, because I know it's been some time since a lot of us have taken high school level biology where we've talked about transcription and translation. Um, so we're just going to walk through those processes today and talk about whether or not uh, DNA modification can happen with these mRNA vaccines and why or why not. And as somebody who has worked in a genetics lab before, it is actually very difficult to modify DNA. And there are lots of reasons for this, but there are many steps uh, that you would need to take in order to modify DNA that are not being taken with this mRNA vaccine. Um, this is a very simple process and is not going to be able to give you DNA modification. And um, so we're just gonna walk through this today and see where it goes. So I have made a drawing. I'm sorry, I made a drawing, uh, but it's a cell with a nucleus, pretty simple. And in this nucleus, we have DNA. And as you can see, this DNA is very tightly held together in the middle uh, by these bonds. And um, in order to make mRNA, we are going to need to separate these DNA strands. And uh, you can think about DNA being kind of like a recipe for proteins. So the end goal of this entire process is to produce proteins, uh, which might be an enzyme, uh, it might be a hormone, it might be any number of things that can uh, cause some kind of effect in the body or within the cell, or it might be some structural components, but either way, our end goal is the protein. So the DNA is just the recipe in order to make that happen. And in order uh, for us to make the protein, so we're gonna make the protein out here in the cytoplasm, but our DNA is in the nucleus. So we need to find a way to get the message across from the recipe to the other organelles that are going to make the protein. And this is where we have messenger RNA or mRNA. Uh, so we need to undergo a process called transcription, which is where we go from DNA to messenger RNA. And so we're going to separate these DNA strands that were tightly bound together. We can do this with multiple enzymes. Uh, we can also do this with high heat. Heat can cause these to separate, but we will get a gap in, this, in these two DNA strands so that we can make our messenger RNA. And then once we have our messenger RNA, it needs to leave the nucleus and it's going to bind to something called a ribosome. And a ribosome is a funny little organelle and its job is to make proteins. So this ribosome is going to latch onto the mRNA, it's going to read it, and as it reads the mRNA, we're going to have tRNAs, these little green Ts here, which carry pieces of protein or amino acids, and it's going to bring them together to form this long strand of protein, and we're going to build our protein. So after we do that, uh, so this process is called translation. Uh, but after translation, we are going to have this strand of protein and we can either keep this in the cell for future use or we can uh, export it out of the cell for some other purpose. Um, but that's basically the process of how uh, we would make mRNA within the cell and what the mRNA would be used for. But when we're giving an mRNA vaccine, we are injecting mRNA outside of the cell. So let's talk about what's going to happen in that case. So we have our mRNA vaccine, uh, which is going to um, enter the cell. The cell is going to uptake this mRNA. And in order for mRNA to modify DNA, it would need to enter the nucleus since this is where we keep our DNA. DNA does not leave the nucleus to go anywhere else, it stays here. So we would have to find a way for the mRNA to enter the nucleus. So does, does this happen? Do we get mRNA in the nucleus? No, we do not. The mRNA cannot cross into the nucleus. 
So there is no possible way for the mRNA vaccine to modify the DNA. So this is an irrelevant concern. There is no way for this to happen. What we're doing with this mRNA, since it can't go into the nucleus, it's just going to hang out in the cytoplasm. But look at our process down the road. We have the mRNA that binds to the ribosome, which are just chilling out here in the cytoplasm. So we're going to bypass the nucleus entirely. We don't need to enter it. We're going to stay out here. We're going to bind to a ribosome and we're going to start the process of protein synthesis. So basically what we're doing is uh, we are taking this messenger, we are sending the messenger without the need for the recipe, so to speak, and we are able to produce proteins without even using the nucleus at all. And so that is the mechanism for mRNA vaccines. Uh, I hope this made sense and made it more clear as to why we are not going to have DNA modification. And I hope this puts you more at ease thinking about mRNA vaccines and their application so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below, um, leave your comments, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have about the subjects. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next one.